Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Sidhu. Welcome back to Grim's Hollow Let's Play Part Four. Today, we will try to get back at Baker and his backstabbing. Hopefully, uh, we'll defeat him. Another secret door there. Oof, I can't avoid this one. Uh, fine. Hey, Lana. What's the spark on its head? Turn out. Doesn't matter. You say so. Uh oh, I think it's going to explode. That's what that spark was. Is that it? Oh my god. Ah! How am I supposed to crash now? Relax, Lala. Relax, your life is on the line. I know that. Oh, I'm sorry, Timmy. It's okay. But, um, what if I don't get it back? Can we at least spend our time together happily? Seriously, I can't handle this edgy atmosphere. I'll get your soul back. And I'll chill out a bit for you. Now let's go find another way around. Uh, I'll avoid the ghost as usual. If you don't have to fight, then don't fight. Oh, I say, I see you then. Don't think I didn't see you there, Mr. Ghost. Hey, Timmy, I've been thinking. You can come out for a bit. Eh? I mean, you don't have to stay inside there all the time. Yes! Hold on, Timmy. There's still rules. You're not allowed to come out when I'm fighting or when I'm... When someone else is around, including ghosts. Got it? Mm-hmm. Got it. You can now talk to Timmy. Open your pocket and select him to talk. Fine. No. I wanted to avoid it. Damn it. Perfect. I'll use a special attack now. There you go. Forty spirit energy, not bad. Maybe I should keep grinding. <laughs> should I go? I'll try from here. Oh, 
All right, let's take him on in greater stats and all. Dozy. Ah, just Mr. Perfect. <laughs> it woke up. Dang it, it's not perfect again. 33, that's actually a lot. We did survive it, right? Jesus, but how much HP does this thing have? Okay, that was an AOE attack. Okay, I, I should have used it back then. Alright, I'll heal a bit now. No, no, not that way, come on. Hidden door over there. Oh, I did. <coughs> Jesus Christ, stop flexing. Can't I talk? Perfect. That's right. Actually, a lot. <laughs> ah, he's flexing on me. Jesus Christ, he's going to knock me out. Perfect. And with that, he's dead now. Whoa, so many ghosts there. Jesus. I can see the path below, but how am I supposed to get there? There's no way I can handle that many ghosts at once. Let's just wait a couple of minutes and then they'll be gone. They're moving out, see? And if they're not gone, we'll find a way. Besides, it'd be good for you to rest a minute. You look exhausted. Ah, do I? Sorry. Do you remember that? Hmm? Dad. I've been thinking about him recently, ever since we came here. I remember we had a dad, but my memory is kind of fuzzy. 
He was nice, smiled a lot. You're too young. Don't say that like it's my fault. No, it isn't. Having you around made things a lot more bearable. I really love Dan. I love, I love Mom too. But towards the end, they used to fight a lot about money. He got stressed really easily. He already had bad health conditions, but the arguments made it worse. And then eventually it got fatal. Fatal? As in deathly. They had already stopped fighting at that point, but he passed away anyway. We should have been together when he did, but mom withdrew into herself. I think at the time we sort of blamed her in a way for fights and then we joined, even though I knew it was unfair for me to do so. After all, some of the fights were on the dad too, right? I don't know. To be honest, I think the thing I hate the most about seeing parents argue is that you feel like you have to take a side. I'm glad at least you didn't have to experience that, Timmy. Things got hard for a while. Mom didn't do course. Then we needed money because of our insurance. Oh wait, I forgot you don't know what that is. Never mind. Anyways, mom wasn't home a lot. So I learned to do a lot of things by myself. Groceries, dishes, laundry. I had to search a lot of it up. I was alone a lot. Or I would have been. You were home. You were young and confused, so you didn't really understand what was going on. You were unaffected. When I was done, I finished my homework, finished my course. I played with you. You were the only normal thing. And mom finally managed to stay home a bit once. Things settled down. And you made her smile a lot. But things were unsaid, left unsaid between us. We weren't as close as we were, we used to be. Why did she tell me all of that? I don't know. I wanted to tell someone. I never got a chance to. Ah, path's clear. I think we can cross now. Let's hurry. Are you sure you'll be fine? Well, don't worry about me, Timmy. Let's get going. I'll be much more worried about yourself. Sad past, I suppose. Parents are arguing.
perfect as always I think I need to up my stats. Well, there you go. Oh, we're back where we started. Climbing a huge mountain thingy. Oh, here it comes. It's a dead end. Well, unless you count the chain dominus hole in the wall. But I don't think either of us want to... Well, go in, that's... Alright. This is the passing on place, right? Shouldn't he be here? Yeah, that's what the Reaper told us. Do you think I took a wrong turn somewhere? Did Grigam get the message? Shh, someone's coming. Get in my pocket. Okay. 
Who are you? Are you baker? No. That's odd. Because you should you sound exactly like him. I don't want any trouble. Just let me through, please. Not until you tell me who you are. I'm a hard-working reaper. I spent years collecting spirit energy, so I can pass on. The last time I checked, reapers don't glow. I don't know what you're talking about. Baker, I can literally see the soul glowing out of your eye holes. Give it up. Give what up? You. Ah. Look, if you don't take off your mask, then I'll take it off by force. Ah. Okay. Okay, this soul doesn't belong to me. But it doesn't belong to you either. Ah. This soul belonged to a ghost until you reaped them. You murdered that ghost. I didn't see why you should get a second chance at life. Ah, uh, no, no, that's not why I want the soul. Huh? Timmy? Mr. Baker, that soul belongs to me. Please give it back. What in bread? A talking ghost? He's my brother. He lost his soul when he came here. I found him and tried to get his soul back so he can go home. But then you misunderstood and knocked me out. So it really does run in the family. What? Your cheek marks? So you believe me? You'll give it back? Of course I do. Hold on, I just need to take it out. It's stuck. Try harder. It's not working. I think you need to come over and help me. Fine. Timmy, stay back. Just put your hand under there. Okay. <laughs> You think I'd fall for that twice? It was worth a try. You really did a number on my mask, huh? I'm not giving it this life, Lavender. I want to go home. So does he. I don't really care about your brother. But you should know that if you're going to try and take the soul off me, well, let's just say, I've been here a lot longer than you. I've used all that energy from the bakery to complete my spirit lavender. I can wipe you out in one blow. Just step aside and let me through. I'm not moving. When is Grim coming? Then I suppose I have no choice. I really don't want to fight you, lavender. Alright, the boss fight, finally. T Timmy, what are you doing? I've learned a thing or two from being a ghost, sis. I can help you from the sidelines. What? Well, no way. Just trust me. Just, whatever you do, stay behind me, okay? Gotcha. Jesus Christ, one 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 five K. That's <laughs> that's like so much. I don't. I don't think I can beat him. Can I?
No, 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 no. Is he gonna one shot me? Well, that's better. At least he did one shot. Miss, no. Uh, I missed it completely. And I took the damage. But... I won't let you. Lavender. Please stop. Please. Wake up. Hi. Grim is back finally. Do something, Grim. Grim, you're here. Quick, you gotta do something. The baker, he was just. He was just. He's gone. Yes. I received your message, but if it's in, it isn't too much to ask of you in your current state. Would you mind explaining to me what has happened in your own words? You explained to him that you were traveling in the cave with him until both of you had stumbled upon a ghost with a soul. He stole the soul trying to go back to his life, but you had chased him down for it. <laughs> Sorry about that. He fought, but he, he went back to life. But you can bring him back, right? You can just go go through here and take him back or you could just talk to I don't know God or something ask them nicely to bring him back I have already mentioned this to you I cannot do either of those things I cannot pass the barrier to the true afterlife nor can I contact anyone there what can you do? Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. No. No. That can't be right. Lavender, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. But what happened? Really? Why the sorrow? Were you hoping for a chance at life too? No. I mean, yes. Lavender, you have been lying to me since you came here. You lied to me about the walk. You lied to me when you said you were okay. Please, confide in me. I don't have the energy to keep secrets anymore. The truth, the truth is that soul belonged to my brother. Timmy, you can come out now. Are you sure? I'm sure. Hello, Mr. Grimm. Please don't hurt me. That won't be necessary, Timmy. For now. What do you mean, for now? It stands to reason that since Timmy has only lost his soul recently, he is only an early ghost. 
that explains why he isn't hostile like other ghosts. Until his, your brother starts, starts to show signs that he is transforming into a hostile ghost, we can keep him around while still I look for a solution. Ah, uh, la la. Signs? Well, it begins small. La la. Typically, there's a slight change in their appearance. Lavender. What is, what is, what is it? They only gradually, that only gradually gets worse. Put me in your pocket. Until finally, there is an absolute flip in their personality. Why? You just came out. Please, Lavender. I'm not feeling too good. Why are you both whispering? What is the matter? Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Really? Graham, what's happening? It seems that the time is much sooner than I thought. Lavender, I hate to say it. Ah. But if you want the best for your brother, we should reap him soon. Are you kidding me? No! Listen to me. If we let your brother fully transform, the both of you will suffer immensely. It's better to end it now than let the situation get worse. No. I can't let you do that. That's the only one thing I've been trying to prevent. There's no other way. You, you don't know that. I have given your options, Lavender. I do not want to take him by force. Really? That's a shame because I'm not moving and I'm not saying goodbye. Well, alright bros. I'll end the video here and we'll fight or save Timmy in the next episode. Who knows? See you in the next one. Bye.